if you want to uh, just get started, how do you create a profile, right, um, as a coach? So this is just the home page right now. You just go to sign up here on the very top and you just put in, you know, first name, let's say James, I don't know, let's say Smith, uh, Smith123 at gmail.com. And oh. okay. And so now you're just creating an account. Now, if you're a if you're a coach and you're trying to add fighters that are already on Conquer, um, we're kind of, we're telling you, um, you know, first create your profile, then you can request them. But if they're not on Conquer yet, first create your profile as a coach, then you can add fighters to your profile. And I'll, I'll explain that here shortly. So just select uh, the coach profile type. Do you train amateur professionals? Let's say amateurs. You can add your number here, member ID. Um, and then what your gym name is. Um, let's just say KO Boxing. Um, okay. And then this is for notifications. So if you have match approvals or somebody sent you a message in your inbox, this will just go directly to your phone. So I just add my number here. Um, and then you can just add a profile picture. That way people can recognize you. Uh, there we go. And that's it. You're done. So now your, your profile set up. It takes you right away to add fighters to your team. So um, right now, if you have a fighter that's training at your gym or whatever, they're not already on Conquer, all you have to do right here is just select Add Fighters You Manage right on the very top. Um, and then you can create a new team member right there. So you just fill out all their information. So I can just here do that real quick. Leonard, do you have a question, Leonard? Sound like you're underwater, but yeah, I got you. I hear you. Mm -hmm. I got you. All right. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, can you guys you guys see everything? Everything's good. Okay, so here it is. Uh, we're just adding, creating a, pro, a profile for a fighter. Um, so let's say, I don't know, James, Larry or something. You just add their number of fights, gender, male. Let's say their birth date is 10, 10, 2000. Um, and you just have to add their gender and their date of birth before you add their weight class because it pulls the weight table up specifically based on those two things. But if you forget, we also have a reminder for that. Um, and then from here, you just select their weight class. So let's say they're 156 pounds. And you can add a lower weight limit and an upper weight limit as well. And we found that we added that upper and lower weight limit because when you're doing um, local bouts, you have that variancy. So you might enter your boxer at a 156 pounds weight division but you have those, uh, the weight allowance that's um, allowable through USA Boxing. And so we put a maximum and minimum because it will help you uh, when you're trying to match up fights. Um, and a coach can look at this and say, okay, this kid is 156, but he's, he's willing to go up to 160. And I got another kid that's 160, so I can make that match happen. So we added that to make it easier for you. Um, and you don't even have to contact the coach. Hey, what's the highest your kid will go? What's the lowest your kid will go? You already have it on there. Yep, exactly. Um, okay, let me continue here. Okay, so you basically add their weight, and then you can add their USA boxing number. The gym is going to be the same as the tr coach's gym. And then you just say add fighter. And there we go. 
Here, one second. It's because we added that. Okay, so now the fighter's been added to the coach's team. So now you're going to see one fighter here. So you basically just add your entire team. Now, if they're already using Conquer, you can just put their name in here. So let's say, I don't know, let's say their name is Jeff or something. Um, and you just send out a request, just like uh, a normal request here. But let me take a look. Uh, here, I think it's uh, going to be right here. Okay. And right now we are um, we're making a shift on our system to be able to add more than one coach to a team. So right now we have one coach per team. Um, and I think probably within the next few days we're going to roll it out where you'll have multiple coaches be added to a team. Um, so that's that's basically the simple part of uh, you create a profile as a coach and then you create a profile as a fighter. Was that was that like straightforward or? Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, I, I I got a I got a uh, pretty good understanding of it. Christy showed me a lot of it. Uh, I want it for the purposes of the recording now, since the internet got off, and uh, you know, but, uh, I want to get the recording. So yeah. I have a pretty good understanding of the system. Um, I, I I'm. I didn't. I didn't learn how to do everything, but yeah, yeah, the basic stuff. Okay, that's that's good to know. Well, maybe I can jump into some of the little, I guess, trickier parts and get you uh, to understand how to uh, do the matchmaking and stuff. So, all right. Come on. Why don't we like? Um, because when they first look at this screen, um, you know, if the first time coach that'll come in here and look at this, will say, "Wow, I've got all these different tabs that I can click on." Um, you know, we go to the top left, you know, and, and kind of describe what each one of those are, just in a nutshell. Um, and then, uh, obviously, you know, we'll be able to get into it in depth with the videos and all that. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, all right. So, obviously, you have your home page here, right? Right here, you have uh, match approvals. So I'm going to log in real quick as somebody else. So that way you guys can have uh, an understanding of what match approvals should look like. So just give me one second here. Okay. Okay. So right now, this is just a different uh, user, but they have fighters and they have upcoming matches. So right here on the very top, this is a very critical feature, which is the match approvals. And so if you have already signed up for a fight, you've already been matched up, uh, match approvals is basically going to show you all the different fights that you have coming up um, that... I guess uh, you have to either approve or deny a match for. So right now, I have 14 different uh, match approvals to go through. So if I have a fighter like Eric Lee, for instance, and he's been matched up with Daniel Talavera on this match called Gladiators Challenge, I can see I can see all the specs here. So 112 pounds. You can see the upper and lower weight limits here. And then you can see the gym, the age, and the experience. And then if you want to, you can even reach out to the other team. But here, you just confirm the matchup, okay? So the second I confirm the matchup, um, the other team gets a text message that says the other uh, they've confirmed the matchup, and now you need to uh, go in and um, confirm it. The text messages look something like, uh, let's take a look here. They just look like this. Um, let's see. Oh. Yeah. So you guys will get a message like this. Um, it'll be something like if somebody's joined the event, it looks like this. But if somebody has joined and they want to, um, they're waiting for you to approve it. You'll just get a text message that says, you know, um, Eric has approved, Eric's team has approved their matchup. 
please go in and approve or deny it basically. And that's, that's basically what you'll see. Um, if you want to deny a matchup, you can deny a matchup, but it basically, you'll have to explain why. So if you can't attend the event, it's going to pull you out of the event. But if you don't want to fight that guy because maybe they fought two weeks ago or something like that, there's no point. So you just write in, you know, we fought last week. Please give me someone else. And then the matchmaker is going to see this message. Um, and therefore, they'll still be in the event. They just won't fight that guy. And those are going to be your match approvals. Now, these are going to be all the events that you signed up for. And remember, this is all under uh, match approvals here, by the way. So there's just two tabs there. Now, here you can see, based on the show that you've signed up for, um, whether you want to withdraw from a bout. So this one is already set. Or if you want to pull the fighter out who hasn't yet been um, matched up. So... Petro, he hasn't been matched up, and so I can withdraw him from the event in general. Or, over here you got Daniel versus Eric, he's been matched up, I can also withdraw him from the event. So those are the options there. So that's basically match approvals. Um, the other thing is inbox. Inbox is pretty straightforward, it's just uh, how to send and receive messages. Um, I, can, I can go to it real quick. Yeah, I think it's just because we have a few people on that it's a little bit slower right now. Okay, so this is just, you know, how you send and receive a message or if you want to send something, you just select compose and I mean that's that's relatively straightforward. Um and then the yeah, if you want to just write somebody's name, it'll find them, etc. and then you'll send them a message. Um, the other aspect of it is menu. So we have a lot of things here under menu on the top right. And the main thing is if you want to edit your profile, if you want to look at your inbox, um, and then this is just a second place where you can find the match approvals. It's going to be right here. The other thing is a uh, matchmaker. So if you're a matchmaker or pretty much anybody can be a matchmaker so you can be a coach or a fighter to put on events it doesn't matter but a lot of the controls for matchmaker um, we also have that button here and here and I can go into that a little bit more um, whenever you guys want to do that and then there's also officiating events so this is something like if you've signed up to be an official for an event you can pull out of events or you can um, access the bout sheets through here as well. Um, so let's say if I have, okay, let's see here. So Eddie Jones, he's officiating for an event here. And let's take a look here. So I can, if I'm signed up as an official, I can look at all of the event flyers for all of the upcoming events. And I can look at all of the, uh, details of each fighter. So let's say I want to look at the event flyer for this match or something like that. I can do all of that if I'm signed up as an official and that's only if I have that profile uh, selected, that profile type. I know this is a lot of information, so if anybody has questions. Let's go. Okay, cool. Um, and the next thing is just team. I kind of walk through that a little bit as far as like adding a fighter to the team. Um, so there, there isn't much else there. And then you have notifications over here. I kind of want to get into um, the matchmaking aspect of it so you guys can really understand, you know, how much that simplifies the process. And then I want to look at the um, uh, live website so you guys can see, okay, we've already done about 14, 15 events on Conquer. We've done a multi-day event. We've done a tournament. And this is how people have been sort of using it. So it kind of gives you a little bit more of like real scenarios. And then we hey, just, um, yeah. Really quick, I don't want to interrupt, but I've got um, I've got a seminar that I've got to uh, get to here in just a little bit. But, uh, I wanted to meet uh, whoever was going to be on here and Christy and all that. Uh, I do want to um, 
you know, an opportunity that we're we're looking to host an online uh, clinic uh, here pretty soon in the next couple of weeks. Um, and so we're going to allow people to jump on there and comment and at the same time create their profile and add fighters and get them started through all of this here. I think once they get started, once they jump in there and put their hands on it, um, it's going to really open up, uh, you know, where it, it's easy for them. At the beginning, when you first, in the first glance, it seems imposing. It looks like, man, I don't, I'm not going to remember all of this. But once you get in there and create your profile, it gets very, very simple, very smooth. But, um, you know, I just wanted to come out and, and meet you and uh, extend that extend that out to you. We are accessible all the time. You guys can call us. You can email us. You can get a hold of us on Facebook. Um, I answer people's phone calls 24-7. And there's no question when it comes to uh, any of this. So feel free to get a hold of me, get a hold of my mom, and we will walk you through this. Um, like I've said, I've, I've been able to walk everybody, you know, in our LBC in our state, and, and um, everybody's falling in love with it. Uh, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get on the phone and give us a call. Shoot me a text message. And like I said, we'll, uh, uh, we'll let you know when we're going to do this online seminar and people can actually put hands on and jump while we're actually doing it. And they can do it as well, too. All right. Let me know. Uh, Thank you, Rob. Let me know in advance when we're going to do the clinic, and, I mean, the uh, seminar. That way I can do um, – I can send it out to you. I can send an email out to the LBC. I'm yeah, definitely. Send it out to all the coaches in the LBC. Um, I'm the secretary, so I have the, uh, I have the access on uh, uh, USA Boxing to uh, email. I have, you know, administrative privileges to send emails to the entire LBC. So if you let me know when it's going to be and all the information for the clinic, then I'll send it. I'll send an email blast out to the LBC, and then they can, um, you know, anybody that any of the coaches that uh, I will definitely let them know that this is a great platform for anybody, specifically anybody that's doing uh, events who's going to be hosting events, and then as well as coaches registering for these events, et cetera. So. Um, I mean, I like it when Christy showed it to me, so I'm sure all the coaches, once they see it, will like it as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, once yeah. they really tough and put their hands on it, so I'm glad that uh, she showed it to me and was able to show it to me. Yeah, I mean, um, definitely. Let me show you. Uh, so, yeah, I guess if you guys can provide, um, like, a... Uh, I think we can maybe like talk at the end of the meeting about um, like the best time that works for the coaches. I'm assuming like probably like five or six p.m. or something like that your time, or maybe even later during the week. I'm gonna send it. I mean, right now we have like seven, eight hundred registered uh, the LBC, so I'm not sure. I'll, I'll just, if you schedule the time, it'll probably be best on a weekend. So if you schedule the clinic, I'll just send out an email blast to everybody and say, hey, this is when we're going to do this clinic. It's probably in your best interest to come on and check it out. So I can't say what's going to be the best time because um, I'm going to send it out for the, to the whole LBC. Okay, cool. I'm thinking then maybe like a Sunday, like maybe yeah. a Sunday yeah. afternoon or something like that. Right. That probably will work best. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I'll talk to Raul. Maybe we'll do it um, here in a couple weeks or something like that. And yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah. Let me know in advance. You know, you know how people are. You know, oh so, yeah, I got you. Know, you. Like, in advance two, three weeks and let them be able to plan for it. Absolutely. And I'll, I'll send out the blast. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, here, I'll, I'll show you guys real quick. Um, basically. Uh, I think you guys already kind of know how to create a create a, an event, I'm assuming. So anyways, you just go to Matchmaker here on the bottom left. And anybody can create an event, an official or a coach or even a fighter. Um, and basically, you just select Create Event here. And let's see here. You just add the flyer of the event. You add the title. You can do a single day, multi day event, um, tournament as well. But I'm still, I'm, I still haven't rolled this one out to the public yet for tournament, just because I'm, huh? No, no, go ahead. And then you just add the sanction number, the event details here, 
the location, a fact sheet, and then just select create the fight. And then it'll show up. We just added the filter so that it shows up uh, now um, within the area that you have already selected based on Google Maps. So it sort of takes it from your phone or your computer. So right now I'm in Washington. So this pulls up all of the events in the state of Washington within 100 miles of the city. I can change it to 1,000 miles. I can change it even greater. But at the very top, it'll sort these ones first. And then from, the, from there, outside of that geographic location, it'll give me all the other ones sorted by date as well. Um, anyways, uh, so that's basically creating an event. So once you have an event created, you have fighters that have already been added. Next question is, how do you set up the matches, right? So with this, you just select set up matches under the event. And so let's take a look here. So now this has all, um, all 53 fighters that are not matched are on this tab. You also have a middle tab, which shows you all of the current matches that you have set up. And then over here, this shows you the entire list of all the fighters that signed up for the event, whether they're matched or unmatched. So right now, let's start with, um, this is the manual mode. So if I wanted to match up, let's say the 10 year olds. Um, so this is gonna show me all the fighters that under the USA boxing rules can fight a 10 year old, which it's gonna include nine year olds up to 12 year olds is what you should see in this list. So that's why you see a nine year old here and you'll, if there's an 11 year old that signed up or a 12 year old, they're allowed to be on that list because 10 year olds can fight up to 12 or down to nine years old. Hey mom, are you going by 24 months or are you going by year on that? Because, uh, 24 that months. Was, okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. And we, we did add that if, if there's ever a mistake or something, just let us know. We usually fix it within an hour or two. Um, and, and that's sort of what we've done. But yeah, we did implement that 24 months and not all LBCs were doing that just because I think doing the math was a little bit challenging. Um, uh, yeah, for I guess some of the people involved in the matchmaking or something. Um, anyway, so you pull up, pull the 10 year olds. Now, if you want to match them up by weight class, you can say, I want to look at only the 106 pounders. So now it pulls the 106 pounders. You select, for instance, Petro. And then in green, this means that they can legally fight. Um, and boom. So this is just for demonstration purposes. I've already matched these guys up just on this event. But typically what you have is we added this so that if they've already been matched up and then one team denied the, denied the matchup, then it'll sort of let the matchmaker know, hey, you've basically already matched them up. They denied it. Are you sure you want to match them up again? So legally, they can fight under the USA boxing rules, but this is like to make the matchmaker not look like they don't pay attention. So for this purpose, I'll just say yes. Okay, now it's showing these two guys. They want to be matched up. You just create the match. Boom, it's done. And what happens is both teams are going to get a text message that says, you know, please approve the matchup. And I'll show you guys. I kind of went into that a little bit, um, but I just got the text message right now. So right here it says, please confirm the matchup between Petro and Akon on July 5th. And then it has a link that takes you directly to the matchup if you're signed up already on your phone or computer or whatever. Um, and so you can just keep going through the list. Let's say you want to go and match up the 11 year olds. This pulls all the 11 year olds, et cetera, et cetera. Now we've done this so that We've made it a lot faster, and that's why we created this thing called the smart mode. So you don't have to go through each age group or whatever. Let's say you just want to match up, I don't know. You're like, I want to match up Joe, right? And so you pull up Joe here, and in red, it shows you who, all these guys can't fight him for whatever reason. Remember, I don't have any of the filters selected. So if I don't, if I only want to see the fighters that are, um, according to USA boxing rules can be matched up to Joe. All I have to do is select smart mode. It'll basically remove all of those guys and it only shows me the ones that he can fight. Now it's also showing me these other guys because legally he can fight them, but they're from the same gym. 
So there's, he does, you know, you don't want to match somebody up in the same gym. So if I try to, here it says these fighters are from the same gym. Are you sure you want to match them up? Um, but then if you have somebody here like Cody, it says, you know, they're a good matchup. 114, 114, 23 fights, 12 fights, 15 years old. It has their birthdays, male, male, etc. Okay, yeah, let's create that match. So that's the difference between um, turning the smart mode on and off. Without smart mode, it's basically fully manual, and you just use the filters with the smart mode. It'll just pull up the relevant fighters once you've selected one. So I turn this on. If I just pull Derek, it only shows me, you know, Elvis here. <laughs> um, 75 pounds, five fights, nine years old. But if I turn this off, now it shows me everybody and it tells, if I try to match Derek up with somebody that they're not supposed to be matched up with, let's say Omar Suarez here, well, it says that they can't be matched up because one of them is 75 pounds, which is Derek. The other one is 90 pounds, and they also have an age difference of 9 years and 28 days. This guy's 19, this guy's 10. And then if you want to link to the USA Boxing Rules, it also has that. It's a bit of an extreme example, but... Um, it prevents you from matching up somebody who's even 10 pounds heavier or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, you can just kind of, if you want to just go through this quickly, you just select this guy. Okay, boom, create that matchup. Now you send that to both teams, and then you can quickly go through the list, and, um, and then you'll just, you know, keep selecting. So this guy, Jason, who can he fight? Okay, he doesn't have anybody that he can possibly fight according to the rules and even if I turn this off and then I go to um, 11 years old and then I select you know 101 pounds it only has for 11 years old 125 pounders and so he has nobody to really fight here um, I guess he he might be able to fight this guy but let's see here actually I think they might be uh, okay that won't work um all right so let's see here so now after i create a match i can everybody's getting a text message but let's say it's been two weeks and these fighters have both not they they haven't approved the matches or one side one team hasn't approved a matchup i can send a match reminder to the team that hasn't approved it so if i just go like this now they get another text message another email to approve the matchup and if they don't approve it, so that's what I'm seeing here again. So I just selected this and the mat, it, it, the notification went to um, both teams. Please confirm the matchup to prevent cancellation. Um, and we have had a lot of great success. I think about 95% of people to 98% of people go in and approve a matchup. Out of every fight we've had, we might have two or three teams not approve it, and it's just because they're kind of being lazy or, or whatever. And sometimes they'll just cancel the fight and match up the other the guy with somebody else because they're they don't want to deal with no call no shows. Um, and then if you want to cancel the matchup for whatever reason, you just select cancel here, and both teams are going to receive a text message that their match has been canceled, so they don't show up the day of the fight. Um, and you know that that's uh, that's what's gonna happen there. Um, and yep, there it is. So you'll get a text message here. So it says here, event organizer Eddie Jones has canceled the match between James and Cinco. So that prevents that issue right there. Um, and then remember how I told you guys if a fighter is pulled out of a match or something like that, what happens? So if you're the organizer. We created this button here and it'll show you all the matches that have um, had some changes. So earlier, I um, Petro's team decided to deny the matchup and they requested a new opponent. So it says here um, on July 20th, Petro's team requested a new opponent and the reason was because we fought last week. Please give me someone else. So therefore, you know, you can kind of keep track of that. Um, here there's another one between Ricky and Elvis, uh, Ricky's team pulled out. They just don't want, they can't go to the event. Maybe he's not feeling well or something like that. So 
you just kind of know, you know, why somebody pulled out of a show or something like that. Um, I'll probably redesign this just to make it look a little bit prettier, but yeah. Um, hey, come on. I, yeah. I got to jump because I got boxers, but I just want to say thank you again for presenting. And I've already learned more than, than I already knew about the, about the software. So I'm even more excited. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I don't have any shows coming up in the near future, but I'm definitely using this. We've got our Southeastern meeting. That'll be uh, Monday, I believe. Okay. And, uh, please let me know when you get that video done because I'll, I'll spread the word that way as well. But thank you for today. I yeah, appreciate it. absolutely. No, I definitely appreciate your time. And, uh, yeah, I'll send you some of the tutorials and, uh, I can send you this recording as well. And, um, yeah, you guys can definitely feel free to share it as well. Um, all right. Thank yeah. Thanks again. Sure. See you later, Sheik. Bye bye. All right. Have a good one, Christopher. All right, so I guess, uh, Sheik, um, I, I kind of gave you like a rundown of the, you know, how you're matching people up. Do you um, do you match guys up? Do you hold events or are you just more? Yes. Okay, fantastic. So this is very relevant to you then. Okay, so check this out. Now that you've matched up these 16 fighters, right? Or you have, uh, sorry, not 16 fighters. You have 16 fights, so you have 32 fighters that have been matched up, right? What's the next step? It's the bout sheet. So we just have a link here that takes you directly to the bout sheet. And let's see here. So this is basically going to um, uh, sort the bout sheet for you. So we have 16 fights, right? So now what you want to do is you probably want to sort them by age and weight, right? You Typically what happens is you have your smaller guys fight earlier in the show and then um, less experienced smaller guys in the beginning and then the bigger, more experienced open fight later in the show. Is that right? Right, that's correct. Yeah, so we just have a button here. It says sort by age and weight. And now it's just going to put the uh, fighters that are fit that um, criteria here at the top. So now you have 106 pounders, nine years old at the top, and then um, it just goes up by age. Um, and then let's say you want you want this fight to go before this fight for whatever reason, you could just push up. Now this fight is first. You want this one to go down one, you just select that. Or let's say you want to make this bout number two. So maybe they have to leave early, so you just go bout two. You just push enter, and now this one becomes bout two. The whole order is adjusted, and so you have one, two, three, four, five, you know. And then let's say you want to add an intermission after bout five. Here, I'll remove that. So you just select add intermission for 10 minutes, and it's after bout five. Now it adds the intermission here, and then now let's say you've already figured out the order you like this whatever so now you just go ahead and you can either look you can either uh, uh, print out the event flyer so this is just the sorting aspect of the bout sheet right but now you actually want to uh, maybe print it out or the day of the weigh-in you want to make more changes you guys you got guys who are no call no shows you got new guys in whatever right Right. So, so that bout sheet, you can just yeah. So this lets you edit it in real time. So right. right now, let's say I want Aaron. Let's say that Edward didn't show up, okay? And Aaron, you know, he's he still needs to fight. But you have another walk in for Aaron to fight. So right then and there, all you have to do is select. Here, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Okay. So right now, I just selected remove because you want to replace. Edward, right? Because we're talking about Edward and Aaron. So I want to replace him either with a new fighter who's a walk-in or somebody who's already been removed. You can do that same way. We don't have any room. Well, actually we do. Okay. So I can select anybody from this list and they're just like a walk-on. But I can put in a different fighter's name here. So let's say, I don't know, Sean, Ryan, Ryan's Jim. Uh, maybe unattached. Let's say the weight is 114 pounds. I don't know. Let's say his age is 10, 10, uh, 2013. 
mail. Okay, so now I've just replaced an opponent right there at the weigh-in. And now you have one, you know, he's still red corner or blue corner. Let's say if you want to switch these out from red to blue, all you have to do is just select that. Just switch him to the red corner. Boom. Now Sean is on the left and Ryan is on the right. And it shows their age. It shows their weight. But let's say that they're fighting at a greater weight. One of the guys weighs more than 114. Let's say that they're at 116. So you just you edit it right there. And if you want to change the minutes per round to one minute, you can do that right there. Um, and then, yeah, this is basically just allowing you to edit things in real time. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to print this out. So you just select print bout sheet right there. It takes about uh, about 20 to 30 seconds, um, and then it'll have it'll convert this to a PDF, and you can just print it off for the show. Um, so there, that's done. So now you can just look at this, and this is typically what Raul uses for the shows. So now you have an entire bout sheet that you just set up from the uh, event, and it shows you here on the left the fighters from the red corner, fighters from the blue corner, their age, weight, etc. Um, it also has the sanction number there at the very top right. Oh, bless you. Um, and if you want to add a bout, you can also add a bout from fighters that aren't on this list. If you want to remove an entire bout, you can also do that. Um, and then, like I said, you can switch between red and blue corners. Um, and this works also on, on your cell phone. So you can do all this on your cell phone and then you can um, email it to yourself or print it. Um, the other thing that we have is for the commission. Obviously they wanna check fighters well before the event, sometimes the day before. So you can literally send them what is known as a commission bout sheet. And this just sends you all the fighters from that from the event. It's going to add them to something like this. And now you have Sean Ryan versus Aaron Newton. It has all of their information on here. Weight, age, gym name, and whether or not they're unattached and their USA boxing number. So you can just kind of go through this and if you wanna print that, you can just select print. This one is obviously longer, so it's not the event flyer because you have a lot of information there that you don't need and this is going to be like several pages long so this is just for like um, whoever checks that um, I guess in your uh, LBC and let's see here so that might take about a minute but anyways let's see here Okay, so that's all set here. And that just looks like this. All right, so that's the commission sheet. Um, and let's see here. I think that's like the, you know, that's the, that basically covers a lot of what, what we can do on Conquer. Um, of course, you know, let's see here. I think I went through. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's about most of it right now. We're going to roll out anything else that we're going to roll out. We're hoping to create videos on it um, and even some of the videos uh, for the feed, uh, even creating tutorials on the features that I went through with you is definitely something we're going to do. Right. Nah, this is all, this is all great. Um,